Coming to the ring, weighing in at 220 pounds, from St. Louis, Louis, Missouri, Kevin Sharp. history with each other in GCW. Before that, before that. Once again, Pete coming out to him reading bedtime stories and Nikki Strickland being played backwards. What is he doing? Hey! What do you mean over here? I got baby face heat like Tom Zink! I'll kill you! Hey, knock knock! I'll kill you! That's who's there! You never know what you're gonna come from the mouth of Pete Madden. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in there and I'm gonna go Pan Am Connection right 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 upside your head. Now, Patrick, I want you, I want to, you to focus the camera. The camera. Get my, Get my good side. side. Okay. Okay. Because this is going to be a technical matchup match of two ex members of the syndicate. There's a lot, There's a lot of history, history here, here, okay? This guy's been a GCW, a GCW champ. champ. I've, been I've been a GCW, GCW champ. champ. Now, now, now standing, you're getting, you're getting kicked in the face a minute ago. We're going to have a great match. Pete Madden laying a smack of down. Pete getting the the always great GCW security to hold him back from the crowd. Checking himself out in the uh, camera. I just realized something. Pete Madden doesn't have a good side. That can be taken in many ways. You take it what you want. He just did a roundabout in the camera and there wasn't a good side there. Kevin showing that the Seneca days are over and he's wanting to get that GCW gold again. Probably get it melted down to have a 50 cent I believe back made. in the Seneca days, Kevin's dreads were like four times longer. So I'm just glad to see the drop that ugly boa he used to come out to. Look at Pete going, man, we're Scooping crazy, a we're slam. friends. Well, the winner of this match gets to meet Nikki Strychnine for a title shot. Big press shot. and a slam from Kevin Sharp. Why do you wish to keep cutting me off? Maybe that's too much room for you. But anyway, like I was saying, so I so rudely cut off by Outcast. The winner of this match gets to meet Nikki Strychnine tonight. Can I speak now? Yeah, I guess. Looks like Kevin uh, rubbing a big forearm into Pete Madden's face. Trying to prove that he is the only pretty one in GCW. I see you're wrong, man. He doesn't want to be known as a pretty boy anymore. Well, he's trying to destroy Pete Madden's face. Pete got ugly face. I mean, he's no Brett Farb. Barb, 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 Bay. <laughs> Kevin being smart once again, breaking the count. Big forearm to the back. Can't get a quite good look from the camera. Looks like he might be digging his forehead in the top rail. Well, I'm pretty sure he was choking him. Wow. Face off the mat. Kevin going for super kick. 
Nicely praised right on the chin of Pete Madden. Crowd letting Kevin Sharp have it with the old Booker T remarks. Kicks are going to have to be a lot stronger for that to be effective, Kevin. Sean sure. Almighty with a handcuff. Let's see what kind of effect that has in this match. As you notice, Nikki Strick Knight is out, not out here with Pete this time, but Almighty is out here with Kevin. Look at Sega getting over there and holding the guardrails. Sega. Pete raking the back of Kevin Sharp. Looks like he's just coming from work. <laughs> You're going to have a rough time at working out explaining all those marks. What is Sean Benson doing out there? He's calling things right down the middle, trying to keep law and order in GCW. Oh, super kick. That one connected. Right in the mouth. And a reverse, uh... That's what Pete refers to as a sternum breaker. Because sternum breaker? Had his sternum broken a couple years. Baseball he, slide on a Pete Man's sternum. You think he's got bitch tits now? Back then he had three of them. Pete using his bionic elbow to take it into the head of Kevin Sharp. You think if he'd have watched my match, he'd realize that you just can't really do damage to the head of Kevin Sharp. Well, depends on which one you're trying to do damage to. Uh, Pete having trouble working the microphone. Looks like he's taking lessons from Kevin Sharp. <laughs> Still baffled by what Sean Benson's out there for. I think he's uh taking a survey on uh Dickhead's performance in the ring. Suplex float away. Job ratings, Pete you know. Head. He is a uh, protege, he's trying a job performance. Roll up from Madden. Only gets a two count out of it. Oh. Chest first right across the second rope. Almighty out there talking smack. See, this is nice when we need Commissioner Keith Smith out there. There's just way too many bodies out there. I can get somebody to take uh, Sean Almighty out, lay them out one time, outside of the ring. And believe it or not, his name's also Sean, too. Big leg drop from Kevin Sharp on the Pete Madden. Going for a somersault sent on. Pete smart enough to roll all the way outside the ring. Trying to gather himself. <laughs> Trying putting on a stocking cap looks like. Or Kevin's headband. Protect that head of his. <laughs> I don't think it worked. As many shots I've seen Pete take to the head, I've never seen the headbutt be effective for him. Uh, especially with Kevin Sharp. You know, you might be able to headbutt Jackal or Richard Head, but Kevin Sharp, you can't. Kevin is telling Richard how to get out of the way. Sudden won't whip it on reverse corner. Pete once again knowing when to move out of the way. 
the bail. That's the word you're looking for, bail. Usually that's the word Kevin's looking for too, but we'll leave that one alone. Mahi Shroud Cradle. Too close to the ropes. Kevin's smart enough to grab the rope. Richard Head looks like a scoliosis patient walking around hunched over like that. <laughs> Ooh, Kevin's talking Pete Madden. Yeah, well, that's Pete Madden's fault, man, because he took his eye off the prize, went after Sean Vincent. Almighty looks like he's trying to work the handcuffs on Pete Madden. And Big Bad Ben in for the save. Yeah. Could that mean something for Big Bad Ben? Is he working means, with means the Ben's Fourth Reich too. or... Has nothing to do with the fourth ride. I got cheated out of my title shot, so Kevin Sharp is gonna get cheated. Fan participation out there. Is he trying to help you, Ben? I don't know, man. Almighty looks like he's trying to get the handcuffs off. You don't want count? Now, if that had been Richard Head on you, it would have been a fast count. What's up with Jim Tennings and the slow count? He's just doing his job. Raise his hand. hand. How dumb can you be to bring handcuffs into no key? Hey, hey, are we even, are we or, even or is this just the beginning of something, of something bitch? bitch? Uh, hey, uh, hey, I didn't do, I didn't this, do for this for you, for you neither, punk. punk. I just got, I just got off the phone, phone with Keith Smith, Smith. And, he's not and he's not happy with you, with you Sean Vincent, because you're running, you're running his, hunting, his trip. hunting trip. So what? So what? No, 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 you, no you don't, don't run this place. place. You, you got, got fired, remember? remember? But we're going to take, take care of that. Care of that. December, December 13th, 13th the next adult, adult show down at Aggies. GCW feels that its head official should be a wrestler. That way they know the rules. So we're, so we're going old school, old school and, you and you guys are welcome to come. To come. A, a referee, referee battle, battle royal to find out, to who, find the out the who the head official really is in GCW. That's you that's two. You two. That's, that's you. Hunter Johnson. Johnson Melvin, Melvin Root. And what's the and other, other gay-looking one? Uh, uh, Tennings. Tennings, yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, whatever.